everybody, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, my name is Lauren. I hope that you're all continuing to stay healthy and safe and well. I have an exciting video to show you today. Well, I always say that in all my videos, I'm like, I'm so excited to show you the things I got, but really and truly, I'm very excited this time. I have two boxes here. And there are two handbags that I'm going to unbox with you and give you my first impressions. And this is a true first impression unboxing because while I did get them and I opened it, all I did was look to make sure it was like the correct handbag that I had asked for. So I didn't try it on, I didn't open it up or anything like that. So I'm really, really excited. And the brand that I'm talking about today, I don't know if you can see it. There you go. <laughs> so bright. The brand is Polen, which I have seen all over Instagram for the past few years now. A couple of the influencers I follow um, have showed the handbags, and then I also follow Minx for All here on YouTube, and she has quite a few handbags by Polen. So um, I've always been really interested in the brand, but I've never sort of bit the bullet on it. It is, like I said, a relatively new brand. I think it started in 2016 by like two brothers and a sister, so that's super cool. They are um, like designed in France and then they're um, created in Spain. So um, they actually contacted me. Honestly, I was like shocked. I was so shook when they did. I messaged my friend Antonia, I was like, oh my gosh. Um, I and I was so ecstatic and over the moon when they asked if they could send me a handbag. And then they ended up sending me two, so I was like, yes. All right, so while Polen did send me these handbags, please note I am not receiving any sort of compensation, commission, anything at all for this, these two bags. Um, essentially, they were like, we saw, that your, we saw your handbag video and we want to send you a couple of bags to see what you think about them. And I said, um, yes, please. <laughs> please pardon my French. I took French up until grade 11, um, but my pronunciation and my accent and everything like that is not good. So I'm really sorry for all the French speaking people out there if I butcher anything, which is really sad because my last name is I'll butcher it, <laughs> is Valaquette. I think that's how you pronounce it. It is French. My husband's dad is um, French Acadian, so, or Acadian French. Um, and he was French speaking and like my sister-in-law is French speaking and my niece and nephews are like, oh, anyway, I'm, I'm saying that I'm a disgrace. <laughs> so sorry to my high school French teacher. So I'm super duper excited. This is gonna be, like I said, a complete sort of first impression unboxing. I have just, open them up to make sure they're their correct bags, but I haven't like felt them or like opened them up or tried them on or anything like that. And I feel like first impressions sort of show your, like your true thoughts and feelings about a handbag when you first get it or any sort of luxury piece. It's like really hard to hide your excitement or your disappointment or anything like that. So I love watching first impressions because really you're seeing it for the first time and you're seeing that person see it for the first time and how they really truly feel about it. So enough talking, um, this is the first one here and this is the box and I want to show you the packaging because it's also so beautiful. So at the top it just says, I'm going to butcher it, um, numero wheat, I know wheat means eight, so this is the number eight and I got it in the mini size, it does come in a regular size and then it just says pollen down there. Um, I asked my sister-in-law how to pronounce the name and she said it phonetically to me so I hope I'm saying it correctly as well but she said whatever you do just don't call it Pauline or pollen <laughs> so I hope I'm doing an okay job um, this is like I said the mini size so there you go you have like that beautiful kind of packaging um, on the inside the tissue paper with their logo and I just have a card here so yeah it just says with a sticker and then when you open it up, they also have their hand bag or their um, dust bag, which is really nice. It's like a felt and it's really thick. So that's good. And now I'm gonna be a completely different color. So there we go. So that's the hand bag or the dust bag for it. And then, oh my gosh. I'm so excited because in my collection, I do not have a bucket bag. So tiny and cute. It is so cute. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this, like I said, is the numero wheat or the eight, number eight. And there's just a little tag here and it says, um, main material, 
full grain Italian calfskin lining Italian suede calfskin. Oh, so the inside is suede. So it's just, I think it's raw. That's what it means. So this is it. So this is the mini size of their bucket bag. So their regular sort of who, I think it's wheat, um, is larger, much larger. Um, and this is just like the small size. And you know I'm a sucker for sort of mini bags and small bags, so I knew I had to go with the smaller size for it. This is like a little bit bent right here. I'm trying to fix that. I know that I 100% bent it when I initially opened it and put the lid back on, but I smoothed it out and it's fine now. But um, yes, this is it right here. Let me just take off some of this excess bubble wrap. So I ended up getting mine in the color camel, which I thought was really, really pretty. So it's just like this rich camel kind of brown color. But what I like about it is that the stitching, as you can kind of see on the side, is a different color. It's like this kind of tan or like off-white stitching, which I think really adds to like some character to the bag because it is rather sort of simple and minimalistic, which don't get me wrong, I love simple minimalistic bags. And then it has, a, I will do a try on as well, it has a adjustable strap, which I love, some nice details on the back, so you can see it says Polen sort of um, on the rivets there, and it does have uh, additional strap to keep the excess sort of leather down because if you watched my video on my Gucci Soho Disco, you know that's one of the things that I hate that it doesn't have this and the strap just like bends up. So that adjustable strap, perfect. It also has a little top handle which I think is just so cute and then has the details here on the side so the adjustable strap kind of knots there on both sides which I think is really nice instead of just looping it through that metal part right there. They sort of knotted it, which is so cute. It just adds a little bit more. And I just noticed right now that on one of the sides, it does have the brand right there. So it says Polen, um, which is nice. It's just in gold. And the actual hardware is gold plated too. So that's really nice. I feel like the actual bag itself, like the leather is so, it's gorgeous. It's almost the color of my couch. I just noticed that right now, which probably means that's probably why I wanted it because I love the color of our couch. So I really do like these little knots. I just can't stop looking at them because it's so cute. Like that's so different from any sort of bucket bag. And then it has sort of these lines going down the bag, which it also has in the larger version as well. So it just kind of helps to shape the bucket bag itself. That is the back of the handbag there, so you can see the stitching. And the bottom has feet! Oh my gosh, and it says Polen! So it also has the brand down there too. Oh my gosh, it has feet! That is so perfect. Sorry, I'm putting it on the box now. Like, that's so perfect that it has feet because I hate when handbags don't have that, especially a bucket bag when you're gonna be like, you know, just, it makes sense, right? Feet make sense, so I'm so glad that they did that. That is, that's so awesome. Um, looking at the leather itself, like I said, it's really nice. I'm looking at the stitching, the stitching looks good. There's, there are like, it has glazing, like all along the sides and the top too, and it just looks like so well done because you know me and when I do sort of first impressions and unboxings I always like to look at the handbag itself just to make sure that it, it's in perfect condition because if you're spending money on a handbag really you should and it's you know an expensive handbag you should be getting what you paid for I should also speak to the price of this because this is I have it listed here in American dollars, it is $290. Larger bucket bag is. So the larger bucket bag is 380. So, I mean, that's crazy. For a full leather handbag with such beautiful details, that's, that's insane. So to open it up, there's this little drawstring here. So I pull that to open. And then the inside, let me see, there's no, I don't think there's any pockets. There are no pockets. The inside, like I was reading to you the sort of materials, it is made out of this sort of suede. So it is unfinished, so there's no lining. So that's something to keep in mind um, if you have your keys and you sort of throw it in there, it might sort of mark it and scratch it. I have the Louis Vuitton key holder, so that protects all my handbags and everything like that um, from being scratched. But if you don't have something to protect your keys, you might need to just be a little bit careful. And I will do a try on for you just so you know, so you can see what it looks like on my body frame. But um, let me show you sort of really quickly what fits inside of this because 
So you can see when you open it up, there's like a decent amount of room in there. And like I said, there are no sort of pockets or anything like that. It's just sort of one open space. So let's take a peek. I have my current handbag right here. So here is my wallet. It fits right in. I have my pochette, um, my mini pochette. Now this might be a little bit tricky because as you can see, it opens up, but if you're doing this with sort of one hand, it might be a bit tricky. So, oh, no, that fits in. Maybe I lie, it's <laughs> been pretty easy. And then I have my um, clay, and then I also have my key pouch on the men's side. I just have all my gift cards in here because over the holidays I got a lot of gift cards. And then that's gonna go in, and then that's all I have. And then my keys, um, I don't have with me, but my phone can also go in as well. So now you can see that it is pretty full, but um, fits everything. Everything that I was taking in my um, Balenciaga everyday tote fits in. So let me just take this out. I would say maybe one of the um, things to think about if you're getting this handbag in the mini size is that this opening isn't the biggest, um, albeit it is brand new, so maybe it's just not opened up as much either. But just note that getting things in and out might be a little bit tricky because it is like a smaller opening. So maybe if you have like bigger hands, I don't know, or you're just worried about that, that it is a sort of a smaller opening, but I mean, it is a mini bag. This compared to like, some of my other much smaller bags, this opening is like fairly comfortable. So just note that. Um, but other than that, oh, even the, like I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it, but even on here, it says Polen. So I just really like the attention to detail. That for me is something that I look for all the time, but um, this is gorgeous. Like I can't lie there. The glazing is perfect. And like I said, the leather is so nice. In general, this is a really light bag. So I would almost say this is a good bag for traveling because when you do cinch it like this, like look at that. It's virtually like no one can fit their hand in there. So I feel like it, that's pretty safe. And it also kind of changes the shape of the bag when you really cinch it up. Like now it's like a true bucket bag. And um, yeah, I just love it. And I love the fact that it has a top handle like this. So it's easy to grab. You can carry it like this but it's just easy to grab in the car. So overall, this bag is gorgeous and I cannot wait to use this. So I'm super excited. I really like the color. This comes in so many different colors as well. If you are interested in it, um, I was also looking to get like the, the classic kind of black handbag, but I thought, you know what? Let's just go with something that's like a little bit lighter, maybe a little something out of my comfort zone, but still like such a great neutral. So yes, this is the um, wheat, so the number eight handbag. All right, so here is the wheat on me. I did take my cardigan off, that way you can kind of fully see what it looks like. Um, I did also adjust the strap length, so now it's at the shortest setting. I do like my handbags to hit really, really high up, as you can kind of see there. So it's really sort of high on my waist, and then I wouldn't wear it with this outfit, but I mean, it goes with all black, but I think it would transition really well into the summer with light colors. And I'm so happy that I got this sort of tan or like camel color because I think it's just going to go well with like every single season. So it's so lightweight. It's so nice. I can't wait to use it. I'm going to use it this weekend, actually. Um, tomorrow, tomorrow is Sunday. So I'm going to go out and I'm going to use it and I'm super excited. So this is what the first one looks like on me. And if you don't want to wear it on your shoulder, like how I did, I think it looks so cute. Just like on the crook of your arm like that. Like how cute is this little bag? Or you could just carry it too. There's just so many ways you can wear this handbag. And then the big box that I have here is a relatively new handbag. I think this might be their newest and it is a tote. So this is it here. And then to pronounce this, I believe you don't pronounce the S if my French is correct. I believe it's La Caba. <laughs> Hopefully I'm saying that right. I think people would want to say la cabas, but that's not how you say it. So let's open this up. And like I said, um, all I did was check to make sure it was the correct bag, but I haven't done anything else. So again, there's that beautiful kind of packaging, their tissue paper. 
and it comes with another dust bag, a giant dust bag, and oh my god. Okay, can we talk about the color of this handbag? Oh my gosh. So, if I were buying this tote, I would go with the black because I am keeping everything safe. Like I'm, I like to be carefree and I like to not worry, but I thought because this brand, because Polen is giving me such a wonderful opportunity to choose a handbag or to choose two handbags, I may as well get something out of my comfort zone that I would really want because I love this color, but probably wouldn't buy it for myself because I'd be too scared. So this is it right here. This is the color chalk and it says, at the very bottom, in gold writing, it says Polen, which is really nice because, again, it's very minimal. So let's take out all the stuffing here. I'm just like throwing everything now. Okay, there's like some foam pieces. And then unwrap this. How's it go like this? Oh my gosh. It is gorgeous. Like, I hope you're getting to see how beautiful this is. This is... Is stunning are there feet please oh my god there are feet okay so there are feet on the bottom of it which is I wonder if they do this for all their handbags like it's just so genius to do this and again it's engraved with pollen which is so nice and then it has um, these side tassels here which is very similar like I feel like the knotted design is maybe something that you know they do it's like a characteristic of their handbags because they have the knots there and again they have like this instead of just letting it hang down they have it knotted which just adds like a little bit of femininity i guess to it but it's just gorgeous and then there's these two snap closures so you could on either side you could snap it and it would give structure to the bag i remember seeing that on the website with the model so she showed it with it sort of snapped kind of like that so it's more of like a tote itself but if you open it up then it makes it a tiny bit more slouchy so you can almost kind of fold it in like this if you wanted to and it would just like see how it just kind of makes the bag a little bit smaller but sort of changes the way it looks so um let's look at the exterior the exterior so the card here says a full grain so the main material is full grain Italian calf skin so the same as the other bag and I should also mention like I don't know if you could tell but there is like texture to the handbag it's not like a smooth handbag so this one also has like some texture and some graininess so it's pebbled and then the inside I wonder if it's also raw no it's a hundred percent velvet microfiber so this one is lined it feels like suede too which is it feels almost like the same as the other one but this one it says it is a microfiber lining oops i have another foam piece in there and the inside is just open there's no pockets or anything like that but um sorry let's continue with the outside before i i'm just getting overwhelmed so i just need to focus so um yes it has those snap closures this part here you could adjust it because there is like another hole there. I don't know what that would do. Maybe it would just make like a little bit of a different design because then this would loop a little bit more. Um, the back and the front look the exact same. There's just sort of like these two panels like that. And then the handles, you can kind of see there is glazing around everything. And the glazing looks perfect. This handbag, like the leather is so nice. It feels nice and light, but it's also, like it's it's gorgeous. It's really beautiful. Oh my gosh. Okay. The inside, there, like I said, there is no pocket. There is, oh, there is a magnetic closure. So that's always nice when totes have that. So it does have a magnetic closure, as you can kind of see there. So that offers a little bit of security, but I mean, not a ton. I guess if you were to, at that point, snap this close like either side that offers more security which is great so if you're walking along a busy street or you're on the bus or something like that so I was just looking at the price of the handbag which it is 490 US dollars which again for a full leather tote is crazy but I saw that the model also had it um, so that the sides were tucked in and it looked amazing so I think that's what these extra straps on the sides are meant to do so if you want 
you can undo it and then if you sort of take it and pull it in and knot it you then have a completely different look for the handbag so it will then tuck the sides in and on the actual um, description of the handbag it said you can open it up and it can do it like portrait or landscape style so I also like the look of this when it's like tucked in like that again it's just that's amazing right to have so many different ways to wear this handbag so my only critique for the handbag is I wish it had a pocket or some sort of pouch on the inside because it just is an open space so um, if you are someone that likes to have like a little back pocket to put your phone your keys your wallet or something in you won't have that option so I wish there was a pocket or some sort of pouch on the inside that would have been like a 10 out of 10 but so it is very light in itself so that's really nice because once you start to fill it up um actually let me show you what fits inside i'm going to grab my laptop really quickly i have the new macbook air and um i wouldn't throw it in sort of just like that i would put like my cover or my case on it or maybe will it fit into this let's just see Oh look, it fits into the other smaller Polen dust bag. So that's my um, MacBook Air. Let's put that inside the tote because obviously that's gonna fit, which it does. And then I also went and I grabbed my um, Louis Vuitton agenda. So say you're planning on using this as a work bag, that fits in. And then obviously all of my wallet and my keys, my mini pochette, these would all fit in. I would probably use my, um, Pochette SS um, just because I don't like to have all of these kind of loose. I need it in sort of one sort of pouch. Um, and then there we go. So that all fits inside, and there's still a ton of room. So you could fit, you know, a water bottle in there. You could fit um, like a notepad. You could fit your iPad. You could fit whatever. All right. So here is the kebab on me. Um, you can see that the shoulder drop is really, really good. I love it. It's very sort of soft and smushy, so it molds to the body really, really well. Um, I don't think it's too big on my frame. Like I said, I am like 5'5", five five, so I feel like it's a really good size and I could use it for work too. So I did want to show you what it looks like from the side view as well. So you can see the strap drop is really good. This is it completely sort of opened up. And then if you snap sort of the closures, which let me do that really quickly for you. So if you snap them close, it sort of makes the bag a little bit more angular as you can kind of see there and then. And then here it is sort of the last way. So what I've done is I have just sort of closed up the sides and tied up the top and you get like a completely sort of different look from it as you can kind of see. There you go. It's just more of like a structured look, which honestly this might kind of be my most favorite way of wearing it because I do like how it kind of looks a little bit more kind of structured like that but I do like how smushy this is against the body so um, I did sell one of my totes recently because it just was too structured and it jetted up too much but this one is just so comfortable as you can see it kind of just like falls against the body and it's really really comfortable to wear the straps are really really comfortable too because the leather is so soft so honestly like first impressions I can't do a review on like the wear and the tear obviously because I haven't used them yet but first impressions these handbags like the quality is amazing and you always like can be a bit hesitant especially if like you see a lot of influencers with them but like people like <laughs> The, um, the details, the leather, the glazing, everything, just such nice attention to detail with both the handbags. I mean, for the price point, can you beat this? Really? Like, it's gorgeous. So I am so impressed and I'm so fortunate and I'm so appreciative that Polen sent me these bags. Like, thank you so much, honestly, from the bottom of my heart because they are so great. And I feel like every handbag i think this is the most expensive one at 490 but every handbag being under 500 dollars that is incredible so i'll link these handbags down below and if you have any questions please feel free to ask me um but i'm just so super appreciative and thankful to palen for sending me these handbags and i hope this video helped you and until i see you next i hope that you have a good day bye